morning my fellow warriors of destruction it is about 6 30 a.m now i'm filming this now so i can post it up at 9 30 10 o'clock time so no one sees what's going on okay so what have we got planned for you today well it's the biggest rud game i've possibly ever played now if you don't know how the rud they're a, a nocturnal species that live under the ground uh, that infest cities uh, and during the Great Crusades there were some huge battles uh, between the, um, the Imperium and uh, obviously the Harad where the Harad were almost wiped out. Um, they're described as disgusting dirty little creatures that live in the shadows and that's exactly what we've got here. <clears throat> so we've started putting them out now so uh, you can see this board here there's quite a few of them already on. Now we've still got another thousand models to turn up, which will be going in on that board and going into reserve. Um, so let's just talk about what we've got. So we've got the Iron Warriors, Black Legion Braska. Uh, we've got Alan, who's going to be playing um, uh, the Iron Hands. Um, and you've got Jamie Jackson, who's going to be playing his Primark um, Iron Hands as well. You've got Chuffy who's going to be playing his uh, beautiful salamanders. You've got Kev Case, who's going to be playing his Primark Vulcan with his salamanders as well. But not only that, we've also got another player who's uh, in the campaign who's also bringing his Iron Warriors along as well. But he's being substituted by another player because he can't turn up today. Long story. Anyway, <clears throat> so this is why I say this is possibly the biggest Horud game we've ever played. Because normally we play up to about 2,000 points of Harad 2,500. Today, I'm estimating that there'll probably be on this table probably about 12 to 15,000 points of Harad. That's a lot of models. A lot of models. So, what's the mission plan? Well, this is the final battle, as I've been saying. It's called Into the Nest. So, the mission for today is is for the three legions to totally wipe out the entire uh, race of Harad. Make their way up the table, fighting their way through the enemy that are all here, breaking into the nest which starts there. Now, this trench board will act as a tunnel system, so they can only move within the trench itself. They can't go over it. And they've got to make their way all round here, into this section here, make their way along, enter into here to fight the Queen. Now I'm using my um, uh, Mega Arachnid model uh, as the Queen because um, I didn't have time to build one. So she'll have to do. Now she's got three bodyguards, which are just here. So these models are doubling up for bodyguards and uh, they'll have to fight and to, to fight to protect her and then she can see what happens with Primarchs versus her because she's hard. It's going to be very exciting, very exciting. Um, and then in the tunnels, there's going to be a load of more Harad. Over there is an objective that needs to be activated to blow up the tunnel system and wipe out everything in there after they've taken out the Queen, of course, because if they don't take out the Queen, uh, and while that, go, that goes off, then the Primarchs could possibly get trapped and killed in there. What else have we got? Character models. So with every unit, there's a creature, which is a character model. As you can see there, there you go. And the idea is that they will earn the players 10 points each. Every unit wiped out gives them five points. The Queen will give them about 100. Now, we've also got on the table, Things like that. Now these aren't Carnifexes in the game, even though they look like Carnifexes. These are biological constructs because if you don't know much about the Rudd, um, a lot of their stuff's biologically uh, developed to suit their need. Um, so uh, these are like predators, basically organic predators with Carnifex stats, but 12 inch movement, something like that anyway. Um, and then we've got Nocturnes, which are these guys. So we've got swarms of Nocturnes, which are over there, as you can see. Then we've got Warriors, which are these guys. And then you've got Pure Bloods, which are these guys. So it's all really exciting. Um, now, there's two special, special things that are going to happen. Because 
we're introducing the Harad Colossus, which there's two of. Now you'll see those later on. I'm not going to tell you what they are and how they're activated, but they will appear onto the table. Now there's also tunnel systems um, that have been bought by the, the Harad players that have already been put onto the table. And that's a little surprise to the players later on. So all in all, it's going to be a really great game. It's probably, like I said, the biggest Harad game we've played. Um, we're substituting the models because there are no models for the Harad uh, with uh, Jeans Dealers and Tyranid characters and models. Uh, but stay tuned, guys. Um, the actual battle report will go up Sunday morning after I finished editing it all. And, uh, but this is just a little intro to let you know what's going on. So take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.